Hello. How are you? Good, Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmates. Nubia. Good evening. Good evening, Nubia and Nazario. I, I don't know if the rest are there, but it's common to hear just a few people answering, right? So it's kind of, hmm, you know, disappointing. A All little right. bit late. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, guys, unfortunately, tomorrow I won't be able to, to have classes. But of course, on Friday, I will make my big effort to cover the last class. All right. I would like you to uh, bring up some of the um, probably um, um, oh, probably some topics that you probably don't remember. You want to practice. You want to practice probably the, the endings because sometimes you don't pronounce well the, the, the regular verbs, especially uh, we can reinforce any other topic that you want. But right now we will try to finish almost, almost everything from the ex uh, from the uh, the section five. Uh, unfortunately, and I hope it doesn't happen. Espero que no me pase porque me siento de nuevo un poco enferma. Como que ni una, ni una semana pasado, and I feel a little sick again. But anyways, um, I hope I hope I feel better. But remember, uh, we'll see you on this coming Friday. Okay, so let me start. Remember, I know yesterday was like a hmm, like how can I say this? Like the class was a little bit hmm, weird, right? Because there were some um expressions that we we got confused when we were using the verb to be when we are um uh when we agree with somebody so we say so okay so do i or so am i depending on what you're talking about or what verb you're using all right if you're using present continuous what is the auxiliary that you use for present continuous the verb to To be, right? So the verb to be, if you agree, you say, you say, oh, so do I, so does Abril, so does Nubia, so does Nazario. What? Is she wants honey? to say hello. Is it honey? Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Good to see you. Nice Good to, to see, see you too, Desilé. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> No, da mucho ruido. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so remember, si estamos hablando del verbo to be, I am. Lleva el verbo, ella, el verbo be, I am, you are, she is, they are, we are. Y ustedes ya saben en qué forma se presenta verbo to be. Pues ahí decimos so am I. O para estar de, para estar de acuerdo, pero en algo que, que es negativo, entonces decimos... Neither. Neither, right? Neither do I. Y el do o el am va en medio y el sujeto va al final. Como que fuera una pregunta, ¿verdad? Do you? Does she? ¿Cómo, fue, cómo es pregunta? Am I? Are you? Is he? ¿Ok? Uh, next, uh, we did the knowledge check already. We already talked about the... Uh, um, the release and release sounds, no, eso nos quedó pendientes, así que please read the instructions for me, Glendy. Vamos a ver si me pronuncia la, las S y los sonidos finales, porque eso es lo que siempre peleo con alguno de ustedes, sonidos finales. Vamos. In this session, you will notice and practice release and unreleased sounds a released sounds very good okay me encanta cómo pronunció esta palabra mire esa e de al final released released and now released sounds all right a qué se refiere vaya yo sé que algunos ya lo vieron pero algunos otros tal vez no así que el release o el release o el unrelease tiene que ver con la pronunciación de el sonidito como t o d okay veamos 
y eso ya se los había explicado anteriormente. ¿Se recuerdan que eh, es, está bien relacionado cuando decimos las edes, que pronunciamos ya sea una d al final o una t? Do you remember that? Me acuerdo que tuvimos un pequeño ejercicio sobre las e de pronunciation. All right. So let's watch the video. Hi everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Do you listen? Notice when the sound t or d yeah. at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay. ¿Qué pudimos entender del video? What did you understand about the video, guys? What is a release or an a release sound? I don't have clear the, the idea of this shirt. Okay. Could you could, could you I'm, I'm going to explain it. Hi everyone. I'm we want you to, to get better on your pronunciation. Okay. Vaya, siempre que ustedes están pronunciando algo, yo siempre les digo, ok, hagan puentes en las palabras, ok. Si vemos una palabra que termina en consonante y la próxima termina en vocal, yo lo que hago es hacer un como link, un puente, un amarre entre esas palabras, ok. Ejemplo, release. O unreleased. Not good. Las dos son consonantes. Not good. No lo puedo, no puedo, eh, no puedo soltar, digamos, esta T para unirlo con la A. Eso se refiere. Unreleased. No puedo soltar la T porque la G tiene sonido diferente. Not good. Nada que ver, vea. Pero aquí sí, mira. Nora. Nora. Yeah, I got it. Good artist. Guda. Guda. Hate it, hate it. All right. Eh, el otro, need a, I need a cup of, cup of, need a cup of coffee. Eso es un release. O sea, que hacemos un puente entre, entre palabras para sonar más fluido. ¿Ok? Yeah. Y especialmente esto pasa con las T's, con las D's, mucho más notorio, especialmente con verbos. Okay, for example, you say, um, I watched a movie, vi una película. Yo no digo, I watch a movie, es que yo veo una película, eso es presente. Pero si yo lo digo en pasado, ya pronuncio una pequeña T. Entonces digo, I watched a movie last night. I watched a, watched a. Esa T la arrastro con la próxima vocal, ok. Eh, en cambio, en los otros no. She's not good at. No, good, aquí sí, good at sí iría, pero aquí good at math, no, no se, no se unen esos sonidos, a eso me refiero, y siempre que les digo, ok, necesitamos listen and practice, no digo listen and practice, digo listen and, listen and practice, también, no solo lo voy a hacer con las t's o con las d's, sino que los puedo hacer con cualquier otra pronunciación que tenga la misma vocal consonante o viceversa. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the at the aquí se puede hacer uno. Eh? At the es la misma T. At the end, at the end, at the end of, the end of, the end of. Miren otro link hago ahí. The end of, the end of a, the end of a world, the end of a world. 
word is word is followed by a by a consonant it is it is it is no digo it is digo it is it is casi que es una sola palabra it is sound release la s con la u también puedo decir when it when it is when it is followed when it is followed by a vowel by a vowel so it is released all right. No sé si ahora sí quedó más claro. You're right, teacher. I got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Siempre que leamos, esa es la forma de leer. Ok. Um, nice. Let's continue. Any question, guys? Doubts? Comments? No pregunta. No, oh, this room is clear. Okay, so let's see the 5.7. Uh, I need somebody to read the objective, okay? Vamos a buscar, vamos a poner en práctica lo que acabamos de decir, okay? Vamos, lesson objective. Yo no digo lesson objective, digo lesson objective, lesson objective. Yes? Right. Yes. Read the instructions. Who's? Who's teacher? You. You can do it. Nobody no, wants to fine. read. Yeah. In this, in this, in session, this session, you will develop skills. Remember to Listening raise your hand, guys. Ideas. Por eso les pedí que, que ¿verdad? Quien, cualquiera. Ok, al final los dos queremos practicar, pero mejor le, levantemos la mano para que lo hagamos, pues, ahí, para que no diga, ah, solo a Nazario le dice. Ok, no, que me ignoró la teacher. Después a usted, Nazario, ok, y Jairo. Pero, eh, sí, como nadie contestaba, pues le dije a Nazario, ¿verdad? Así que, continue, Nazario. Hi, Jairo, good to see you. There's no problem. You read. No, I'm sorry. In this session, you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. Develop skills. You will develop skills in. You will develop skills in. Una vez más. In this session, you will develop skills in, right? Yeah, develop skills in. Okay. So, listening for main ideas, so we're going to listen. Job hunting. Hey, ya lo hicimos. Oh, pero le dije que lo íbamos a escuchar una vez más porque les iba a dar, les iba a hacer un pequeño, les iba a preguntar más detalles de lo que han, de lo que dicen en la conversation, all right? Yes, so, do you remember? So, pay attention, ya lo vimos una vez. Esta es la segunda vez o tercera vez, así que vamos a, les voy a hacer un par de preguntitas más. If it's necessary, voy a preguntar, ok, hoy sí les voy a preguntar a los que menos participan porque nunca, porque siempre están calladitos, ok. Porque aparentemente no ponen atención. Así que, vea, si me levantan la mano, perfecto. Y si no, pues yo voy a, ahí voy a escoger a quienes, ¿verdad? Los veo más ahí como que, no quiero contestar, teacher. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. 
Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon what kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Why? So, my first question. Number one. What does the, uh, what does, what does Bill want to do? Hmm. No, in the first, in the first one, Uh, what does Bill want to do? He wants to buy a tenant because he loves he, to travel. He wants to be a flight attendant. Okay. Why? Because he loves trouble. He loves trouble? Trouble? ¿Le gustan los problemas? Lo he loves trouble. Traveling. traveling. Acuérdese traveling. que ocupamos traveling. los gerundios ahí, all right? She loves traveling, okay? She because traveling. he loves traveling. Okay, and what else? He loves he, working with people. Because he loves working with people, and Renato? He not interested for money. He's not interested in my, in making money at this time, all right? He's not making he's not interested in business. Okay, so uh, what does he want to do? Isaura. He ah, okay, thank you. What does he want to do, Isaura? No, the number one. Natalia. Renato just said the answer. If you didn't pay attention, I'm sorry, guys. But he said he wants to work with people. He loves 
working with people. He loves traveling and he's not interested in making money at this time. He just wants to do what? Don't say it, Renato, Nazario, and Jairo. Shh. Wait. You're not paying attention, Bea. Lo acaba de decir Renato. Natalie. I don't remember, teacher. Grandy. Uh, he doesn't want to job in an office, so he wants to be a, a flight attendant. Okay. Yeah, that's not my question. Nubia. What does he want to do? I know, ya dijimos todo eso. He wants to be a fun attendant because he loves walking with people and he loves traveling. He He's not interested in making money at this time. He's interested in what? ¿En qué está interesado entonces? Clic, clic. Francisco. Oh, he wants uh, to do um, travel in the world. Ajá, ahí lo está diciendo en otras palabras, Francisco. Good job. He wants to see the world. Or he wants to travel around the world. Okay, lo dijo de otra forma. Pero lo que dijo, I, I want to see the world. I want to see the world, dijo. Ah, yo lo que quiero es ver el mundo. Okay, thank you. Esa era la respuesta que yo buscaba. Good job. Now with the second, all right? Now with the second. Um... What does um what does the lady want to do? Ya sé que Shannon wants to be a doctor, all right? What is the problem with with, with being a doctor? ¿Qué podría ser el problema entonces for uh, about being a doctor? The medical school is very difficult. It's difficult, right? It it takes a lot of a lot a lot of time, all right? Good job. Um, so, uh, why does she want to, uh, to be a doctor? She wants, she can help people. Good job. She loves to help people. Because she loves to help people or she loves helping people. Okay. Is she interested in making business as well? No, it's boring for no. Ah, what does she that. want? Uh -huh. What does she want to do, actually? Uh, he wants to be a doctor. Where? What is her intention? What is her dream? She wants to work in a children's hospital. War? What is war? Hacer guerra? Final hey. sounds, Glendy. She wants to work. Otra she vez. She wants to work. Exactly, work. así, al final. Work. Glendi, usted tiene un buen inglés, pero no pronuncia las K, no pronuncia la S al final, no pronuncia el, los sonidos finales en general, y más la K. Esa es la que más le cuesta pronunciar. ¿Ok? No es que le cueste, es que es como que no nos acomodamos, ¿verdad? Y hablamos así y no damos, no nos damos a entender. War es hacer guerra. O puede decir war, que es el pasado de where, del, del verbo usar, llevar puesto. ¿Ok? So, she wants to work overseas, ¿verdad, Glendy? ¿Ok? Nice, 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 nice. Um, in what kind of job does she want? She wants to be a doctor. In what? Evelyn, one, two, three. Uh, she she help people. Uh -huh. No, no le está ayudando a nadie. Ella es lo que quiere hacer ella. No le ayuda a la gente todavía. Y se dice she helps people. All right, Evelyn, eh, me dijo que usted tiene problemas con su cámara, vea. Yes, teacher. Okay. Veo que bien poco se, se, se conecta y no sé por qué está en este nivel. Yo siento que eh, 
cuando usted no se conecta, pierde bastante como el hilo de la clase. Así que, Evelyn, pongámonos las pilas. Hay verbos que tampoco los podemos manejar, ¿verdad? Y son cosas muy básicas. Así que, le invito a que se ponga, ¿verdad? Las pilas. Ok, so, what else? What else? What else? No, she's not helping people at this time. She wants to help people. Ok, and that's not my question. ¿A dónde quiere trabajar ella? Overseas, where? ¿Qué es overseas? ¿Sobre el agua? Overseas. ¿A dónde, pues? Nazario. Maybe a children. In a children's hospital, ¿verdad? Como que, que le gustaría trabajar con niños. She would like to work in a children's hospital overseas, maybe in Africa. Pensionó que en África o algo así. Right? Okay. Right. Okay, nice. The next. The next is this guy, that is Ben, all right? Ben wants to be a model, all right? Okay, why? Me puede decir un montón de razones. He wants to work in the, uh, how the actor. He wants to work, wants to work as an actor. Uh -huh. Quiere trabajar como un actor, okay? Okay, what else? See, of course, he he wants to be a, a he wants to be an actor, right? He really be Yes, Jairo? Sorry, I didn't hear you. He really be fit. He ah, really he wants fit. to be fit, ¿verdad? Tiene quiere que estar en forma ya. Okay. What else? What else? What else? So he wants to be he wants to be an actor, he wants to be breaking the movies. And what is he doing at this time? What is his job? He's taking picture in the series. Okay, so he's like sending pictures to the agencies so he can get like like a job, right? But at this time, what okay. is he doing? Aparte de tomarse las, las fotos. Uh, acting, acting lesson. He's taking acting lesson. He's taking acting lesson. Where, where does he work? Um, mm, Natalie. He's in gym. He works in a gym. He works in a gym. That's correct. Okay. Ok, that's it. Vaya, si se fijan, son varias preguntitas que pudimos eh, contestar, ¿verdad? No solo, ay, ¿qué es lo que quería hacer el, el, la persona? So, job hunting, and then we continue with lesson objective. Help me, um, David. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives for describing personality traits. Ok, nice. ¿Cuál es su nombre completo, Evelyn? Me lo puede escribir ahí en el chat, por favor. ¿Su apellido? Bueno, espero ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí estoy, ahí estoy esperando. Ya se lo envié, Tiché. Ahí está. Ok. Ok, thank you. Let's continue, guys. Um, so, ¿qué son personality traits? Obviamente. The performance, the way that people are, cómo se comporta la gente, ¿verdad? La característica que tienen ciertas personas. That's a, that's a trait. So, in that case, we're going to learn vocabulary. Vamos a aprender este vocabulario. Y 
quiero que todos me lo pronuncien correctamente, ¿ok? So, let's pay attention and then we can we discuss what they're talking about. ¿Qué significa cada cosa de, de, los, de los personality traits? Personality traits. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Remember, Creative. listen and repeat. I'm going to play the video two times porque tengo la garganta un poco mala. Se lo voy a poner dos veces y espero que ustedes vayan escuchando cómo se pronuncia. Después ustedes me lo leen, ¿ok? Yes, and you will tell me what the meaning is, qué es lo que significa en sus palabras, no en español, no en Spanish, ¿ok? Critical, disorganized. Bad-tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hard-working, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then, check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. The adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 2. A co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. 3. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. 4. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her... Two. A... I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. Your microphone, teacher. You cannot listen to you. Okay, who's the be who's who's the boss here? Who are they it's talking serious. about? Mm -hmm. He's a serious. He's serious. She or he is a serious person. Why? Because he he never he never laughs. He, he never, never laughs. He never smiles. Smile all right. Exactly, all right. Uh, what do you think about? Oh my god, what do you think about that? Um, that type of people, guys. Imagine if I were your boss, imagine que yo fuera su jefa, and if I were like that, what do you think? If I am serious, do you think it's it's okay? Yes or no? Yeah, I think that is uh, according to the characteristics of everyone. Or the temp temperature of every of everyone, but it's yep. it's not normal. Sometimes in different kind of world, we need a different kind of expression. What what do the rest think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? No sé, teacher, ni le qué ni le puse atención a la pregunta. Uh -huh. Sometimes you are serious. 
but you got a good point Hyros. you uh exactly you got a good point because you're a boss right so you cannot be kidding uh or making fun with with your with your co-workers sometimes they misrespect uh they might misrespect or they might get they might get confused right Sorry, que este, hoy sí siento que hasta la lengua me duele para hablar, guys. All right? Good. So, what, is, what do you think, Isaura? I think that the boss in occasion will be a, a very serious, but I think a boss should be a very happy could be a very serious person. No, could be very serious. Si me dice, okay. ah, podría ser very ser muy serio. No necesito decir a very serious. Si you do a very serious okay. person, yes. Okay. But sometimes okay. this person may be, a smile is good, right? Otherwise, you 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 probably transmit some something else. Like, like you are always in a bad mood, that you are not... Um, a person who you can count with, como quien dice, no, señora, mejor ni le pido nada porque no me va a ayudar, ¿verdad? So, they got scared. So, some employees got scared. I believe that serious at the same time that you can have a smile, that, uh, serious in a way, but kind, por lo menos ser un poco amable, I believe that that is a balance, right? That is something that it's a balance. Okay. Uh, what about the second? What happens with the co-worker? Póngale mute, guys. Thank you. Uh, co-worker is very generous. Why? Uh, why, Evelyn? Why is, co is, is she so generous? Um, generous is because a co-worker she is generous okay the co-worker is gen is generous because uh, because um i don't know <laughs> what do you think a generous person is que significa para usted alguien generoso uh, okay uh, maybe a person um, careful, careful all people. Que sea cuidadosa. And, uh -huh, con toda la gente. Um, all no. people. Careful es ser cuidadosa. Eso no tiene mucho mm -hmm. que ver con ser dadivoso o generoso. Que yo sea cuidadosa con algo. Mm. Maybe you want to say care. People who care about others, o, o la gente que es, le importa, ¿verdad? About others' feeling, ¿ok? O la gente que le importa los sentimientos de alguien más, maybe. Ahí sí estamos hablando de care. Careful es algo cuando yo digo cuidadoso, ¿ok? Como que, uh, be careful, hey, tené cuidado, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Ahí es, es un poquito diferente. So, a generous person, what is a generous person for you, Glendy? Okay, Natalie. Um, I think he's a a good person because uh, she likes uh share with others coworkers. Yeah, very nice. Okay, at, so a generous person is who want, who always share right what they have. Even though they don't have like a lot of like a fortune to give, but they share, right? They care about somebody else's needs. Okay. También sobre las necesidades de alguien. Good job, Natalie. Good job. All right. Uh, and why is she generous? Porque es que they dicen que she's generous. It's because of the people who are willing to help every 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 time. Mm -hmm. According to the audio, by se lo voy a poner una vez más. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. 
Two. Two. A co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Vaya, ahí está. Why does, uh, why does, uh, why does the guy or does the girl, la mejor, mejor dicho la chica, why does the girl think that uh, Mary, which is her name, así es el su nombre, is so generous? Why? ¿Qué hizo ahí, pues? She gives presents. She gives presents. Ajá, uh -huh. because... Okay, she always gives present to her co-workers and friends, right? And besides, y aquí, ¿qué es lo que le dio a él? What did she give to the man? She I gave him. Actually, okay, she gave her, she gave him, sorry, she gave him a book. Okay, nice. Uh, what happened with the tooth, with the teacher, como la Vilma? She's... Oh, She's moody, right? <laughs> this is a this is a good point, teacher. Uh, I am trying to compare the first one with the third one mm -hmm. because because a boss is a little bit serious, but a teacher is moody. Different kind of characteristics of people. Characteristics, not, of course. It's not the same to be serious or be moody. Yeah. Not for, be moody. Right. So be moody means what is be moody? Uh, what is a moody person, Isaura? I don't know, teacher. Uh, it's the first time you listen. Time to listen. Yes. Okay, I Renato, do you know? No, I don't know. Teacher. It's like a bad, bad temper. Not it's all the time. Person. Yeah. Not ever. Bad temper. Sometimes you're happy, como lunático, ¿verdad? Eh? Right. Ajá, uh -huh, like lunático. But I think that is person. close. Yeah. Bad temper, is, no. When people Bad is angry. Is like angry, when angry, people is angry. angry. But sometimes they're happy. Right, they yeah. They change quickly. Ajá. Uh -huh. So yeah. they are happy at this time, and then they're angry, they're sad, they're... They are angry uh, for everything. Mm -hmm. They are yeah. excited, they are, they change mood, and suddenly, mood and suddenly, significa el, la, el, el modo, ¿verdad? O sea, right. el, el de ánimo, cambian de ánimo. Así que, moody es eso, como tipo lunático. ¿Qué otra Malum palabra podría, malhumorado? Uh -huh. Polar. Eso es un bipolar, bipolar, ahí lo dijo Francisco. Thank uh -huh. you, Francisco. Él, él sí le dio al, al, al punto, ¿verdad? Alguien bipolar, ¿verdad? Que cambia así de un momento a otro, ¿all right? And what happens to, eso es lo que le pasa al teacher, ¿verdad? Así me pasa a mí, ¿verdad, ¿verdad guys? Pues sí, cuando, no, cuando participan, normal, sí. Teacher. Cuando participan, sí, si no, mamá me pongo enojada. <risa> no, mentira. Ok, no, you pero sí me left. pongo seria, sí me pongo seria <risa> y cuando pues, ah, estamos, en, en, ya si se fijan, en otra en otras circunstancias que están ya pasó la atención verdad porque ya todos están participando ya con, 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 todos ponemos atención estamos en la misma sintonía ya se siente diferente right so yeah I'm kind of moody sometimes okay and so and what happens with the other a relative ahí dijeron la palabra ¿verdad? bad temper así como que tú Vea, está siempre malhumorado, súper enojado, bad temper. Um, bueno, eso, eso era todo. Ahora, we're going to listen to the pronunciation one more time. Remember to repeat. Hay que repetir. Pay attention. De ahí Hello. me levantan la mano. Then you raise your hand and let me know if you want to do it. Yo sé que los primeros que siempre quieren participar, pues está bien, ¿verdad? Ustedes le dan ejemplo a los demás, ¿verdad? I will give it to you. Lo voy a poner nuevamente. Después se los voy a leer yo despacito. Lo vamos a repetir y después vamos a ir uno por uno. ¿Ok? And please, miren, nadie, nadie dijo, mire, teacher, que es Muri. Hasta que les pregunto, no, I don't know. Si se fijan y no me preguntan a mí, mejor se quedan con la duda. But I try to, to explain a little bit the, this kind of word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
pero, pero como le digo, usted sí sabía. Pero, por ejemplo, le pregunté, ¿verdad?, a algunos otros y no sabían, pero no me lo preguntaban. Mire, fíjese, o sea, eso es lo que, a eso es lo que yo voy, que le da pena preguntar, ¿verdad? Es que no, si no saben, hay que preguntar, guys, we're here, ¿ok? Después se nos olvida, ¿ok? Which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. I don't hear you. Critical. Critical. Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. Efficient. Forgetful. Forgetful. Yes. Generous. Hardworking. Impatient. Impatient. Level headed. Level headed. Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. Reliable. Okay. Vamos entonces a ver, is something it's negative or possible? Or positive, sorry. Uh, so bad temper, of course, right? It's not good, right? You don't want to be close to an angry person all the time. So, of course, it's negative. What about a creative? Listen and repeat, creative. Creative. Repeat, guys. No me van a decir después creative. Come on. All right, what is a creative person? Positive. It's positive? Okay. Positive. And what is that? Somebody who opens the, her mind or that, uh, a, peep, a person who opens his, his or her mind, right? Uh, to create, to imagine, to, um, to make something spectacular, right? To make some things in interesting, okay. Critical. Maybe positive. Mm -hmm. But you didn't pronounce, guys. All right. Positive. What is a critical person? In English, sorry, I didn't hear you. It's negative. Critical. Critical. Positive or negative? For me, it's positive because the person. Yeah, it's positive. It's not criticizing, Pierce. It's not a, a people, a person, sorry, a person who criticizes everything. Like el puñal de la espalda que todo le critica. No, that is critical that you have your criteria you have your understanding and you can opine you can give your opinion about something because you are you have enough knowledge to to say if something is good or if something is not yeah la criticizes uh, cri la, la crea la crea como se llama la otra palabra es la que ustedes están diciendo que se confundieron para hacerla negativo era Criticizing, pero déjenme mostrarles cómo se escribe. Mm. Criticón, algo así, ¿verdad? Sería. In English. Is criticizing people. Carping, hyper, hypercritical. Mm. Vamos a buscarlo mejor aquí. Criticism, criticized. Esta es B. Criticar, criticar o analizar, criticize, ya es otro, ¿ok? Si ustedes entonces una, una persona que critica a Dios, a criticizing person, a criticizing, a criticizing per person. Vamos a ver. Criticar. 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 Up. Sorry. Yeah, let's do. Pretty. 
aquí esta clase que es criticizing sería eh, la persona que ya es criticona. ¿Ok? Um, criticizing. Go criticize. Nice. The next, so we were saying that that is, so in that case, critical is, it's a person, look at this, critical. So that means fundamental, yeah? Yeah, yo estaba pensando de crítico. Crítico, claro. de salud. Oh, no, that would be delicate. Delicate. Eso sería como un delicado or it's really. Puede ser también crítico. Crítico, un adjetivo, finding fault, que desaprobación. Crítico, analítico, de la um, crítica, uh, ángulo crítico. A critical teacher is, is, a, is a kind of people that have a different point of view. Uh -huh, ya. Yeah. Punto crítico. Ese no. El otro sí sería entonces como uh, crítico, like, um, you can say severe, or you can say... Um, to the people, the question, everything. Yeah, exactly. Ok, no, el otro de cuando está en estado crítico o sería como grave. Terminal. Terminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, um, ¿qué es eso? Grave. You can say finishing. You can say finishing. <laughs> okay. So, grave, serio, crítico, de gravedad, ¿verdad? O sea, sí. Hay palabras que no, es serious. Es serious. Es podría ser la palabra también, ¿verdad? Serious. Something really serious. Serious, serious, serious. Okay. Serious, ese sería serious, es lo más, lo más cercano a ser crítico, algo muy, muy complicado, ok, or complicated, serious, um, delicated, right? The next um, will be disorganized, of course, that is not, that is. that is not good, right? Okay, so sometimes you leave your shoes here and the socks the other the other place, or, or you have the computer here, but you don't you don't have the the mouse here. You left the the mouse over there. <laughs> okay, your I know. Shoes in your bed. Uh, exactly, everything is on your bed. You don't you don't tie your bed. That is to be disorganized, and that is not good. Definitely, guys. Um, I know. Some of us, I include myself sometimes, but yeah, yeah and it, <laughs> the thing is that I organize everything and one, just in a moment, I get disorganized really quick. So I, it's a that custom. is something, I, I yeah, that's something that, that I need to work on. All right. Okay. But, okay, so that is negative. Efficient, that means, what awesome. is the meaning for you for efficient? Possible. possible. It's possible. Why? Possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. It's possible. Positive sería. Possible, no. Positive. Ya me, ya me metieron otra palabra ustedes. Possible es posible, ¿verdad? Positive. Positive. <laughs> positive. Okay, it's positive. Why? That means you manage your time. Because the mm -hmm. word is good. Okay, the work is good, right? You do something fast and very good in very uh, in order, right? You don't make mess to do anything. Uh, you don't do anything wrong and you do it fast and accurate, properly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Forgetful. Good or bad? <laughs> do do you, you know the meaning, right? Do you know the meaning, Isona? when i forget everything i know <laughs> example my car's in uh, my my car keys inside the car and I, oh my god i left my cars inside and then you have to call uh, to the um, 
to the company, to the insurance, so they can open your car. That's not good. Generous, we already talked about that. Hardworking. It's positive in sometimes of occasion and, and sometimes it's negative. <laughs> sometimes might be a little bit negative. Why? Because some it, it depends, right? But, but if you work and just work and you never have fun, oh my God, right? That is kind of stressing, all right? And uh, you're like workaholic. Como se dice? Right. How do we call it in Spanish? Drunker? No, workaholic. Ah, work Esa es la palabra. O sea, aquí como al, adicto a, a la, adicto. A, al, al trabajo. Uh -huh. And even, and, and yeah, so I don't think working hard is okay, but not to the limits, right? Not exaggerating. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, impatient. It happens to me. <laughs> it happens to me. It's so not am I. good. So am uh, I. So do I. Uh, so, all right. It happens to me. Okay. So do I. So do I. También a mí me pasa. Okay. Look, sometimes I, I feel like, okay, if I wait just one more minute, all right. Um... Last time I was um, on the street waiting waiting for the bus, uh, but my mom was supposed to pick me up and I was so impatient and, and I said, no, I'm not going to wait for my mom. Ah, she, she, she took too long to be here. And I was like, I just took the bus and my mom just was like passing in front of me. Yo, oh my God. <laughs> ya me había subido el bus, ya no me paró. So I had to take the bus for just a minute. Imagine. So it's not good, guys. Last time I had a like a very mm, bossy boss, you know, and, I, and it's not the case here. Okay. I love my boss, of course. But a um, long time ago, I had a boss who was kind of mean. And I was like, no, I didn't want to continue working. I don't, I don't tell you where. And I got desperate, super desperate. And guess what? I quit. And one week later, my boss quit. Well, well my boss was fired. A él lo corrieron. Imagínense. Una semana me hubiera aguantado, pero yo tuve que renunciar. Imagine, guys. So yeah. it's it happens. So it's not it's not good to be not ever is good. patient. Exactly. So my advice for you: be patient all the time. Okay. I try to be patient, guys. I try to be patient minutes, with my students. Minute at least. Yeah. So uh, we need to we need to be patient. Okay. Be patient. And if you believe in God, if you are asking for God, uh. uh for something to God, I know he will give it to you, but be patient because it's not going to be right away. All right. Level headed. What is that meaning? What do you think? Level headed. Like me, teacher. <laughs> okay. Why, what do you think about level headed? When, when people is normal and act according to the situation. Nice. All right. right. Okay. You you maintain uh like um like a balance, right? Okay, level headed. And the moody, we already said that. The punctual. It's good, right? Positive. Or not? Yes, positive. I am um, a punctual. <laughs> You're very punctual. Not in the class, Isabra, not in the class. Nazario is the most punctual in Jairo. They're the ones who Thank are you. always punctual in the class. I am not punctual sometimes because I have to finish my other work, uh, my other class. All right. Remember, guys, tomorrow. To be honest with you, I hate wait for people. You hate waiting for people. I'm yeah. sorry, Nazario, but I, I, I already explained to you. I have some other classes. Nah, it's not eso. for you. No, it's en not ese for caso, you. Pero nah. dos minutitos, sí, no, I, no. Es lo más que los I told you, I told you 50 minutes. All right. I will wait. I will wait for you fifty minutes. Ah, oh, so cute. So reliable means somebody you can trust in, right? You can wow. trust in a person, so you, you, you feel confident about this person, so you can count on this person all the time. All right. Strict, you know. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. All right. 
Um, well, guys, I remind you, okay, tomorrow, as you know, I'm not going to be here in El Salvador, so I'm going to cover the class next Friday, okay? Mañana se les va a mandar un comunicado. Es, pero yo se los, se los digo yeah, antes, ¿verdad? Sí. Para que ya lo sepan y no estén ahí como, ay, tengo clases mañana. No. Vamos a recuperarla hasta el día viernes, así que un abrazo para todos. Ya solo nos queda un día más. Have a good night, guys, and take care a lot. Okay? Nice bye, night. bye bye. Bye bye. Take care, guys. Bye bye bye.